Their training is grueling. Their mission is clear. To maintain a superior level of readiness, to be prepared to fight alongside allied forces and defeat an enemy that is more agile and formidable than ever before. Today's fighter pilots require intensive training, superior technologies, and realistic environments that replicate the fog of war. The P-5 Combat Training System, or P-5CTS-TCTS, provides next-generation capabilities needed for mission success, now and well into the future. P-5 is the future of combat training. It sets the standard for interoperable joint and combined training, allowing forces to train together as a coordinated team. The developers are Cubic Defense Applications and teammate DRS. Cubic and DRS have delivered systems to over 30 U.S. Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Air National Guard air bases under a multi-service program. It is also being delivered to coalition partners under FMS contracts. P-5 meets current and emerging security requirements for U.S. and coalition training missions. The technology is adaptable to nearly every fixed-wing aircraft, as well as rotary-wing platforms. Cubic and DRS are also providing the P-5 for the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, the most sophisticated strike aircraft weapon systems in production today. This is NAS Key West, the first U.S. Navy site to deploy the P-5 Tactical Combat Training System, or TCTS. TCTS P-5 system is fabulous for our training. We do use it for live monitoring. We send our operational specialists, Navy-trained operational specialists over that have airborne intercept control qualifications, and they will run the entire intercept for us through the TCTS system. It also bolsters the training opportunities and the number of training objectives that we can test. With new technologies under development, Navy pilots will soon be able to conduct rangeless training missions aboard aircraft carriers. The instrumentation meets the rigorous requirements of the carrier environment, dramatically improving training effectiveness at sea. Everybody that comes through here, every single pilot, will eventually find themselves in an aircraft carrier. So the familiarity that they gain here with TCTS, and probably more critically with ICADS, would be something that they could take as a permanent skill set to the aircraft carrier. As you can see here, the Individual Combat Air Crew Display System, or ICADS, provides computer-generated images of all participating aircraft. It lets pilots view the aircraft's flight dynamics, weapons events, and outcomes of each engagement. ICADS supports post-mission debriefs at home stations or in theater settings. Here at MCAS Miramar, the P-5 system is also taking training to new heights. Previously, we were limited by some of the range restrictions and then just the, the distance that our previous pods could transmit. And the P-5 has a much better capability further out over the water that really enhances our training, allowing us to train in different areas, not just one range specific. P-5 provides extended range coverage required for rangeless training. With older fixed-range systems, the aircraft had to stay within a line of sight of three ground towers to determine its position. With GPS technology, the aircraft is not dependent upon any fixed infrastructure. The addition of live monitoring requires line-of-sight communication with only one ground tower. The fighter pilots at Luke Air Force Base were also among the first to experience the system's sophisticated features, including the live monitoring capability, real-time weapons simulations, and timely accurate debriefs. It definitely makes the debrief uh, a lot cleaner, a lot quicker, and a lot more accurate. You can actually review your performance each time to this kind of accuracy to help improve on the next time you go up to fly. P-5 supports live training for air-to-air, air-to-ground, and electronic warfare missions. The system is designed to track up to 100 high-activity aircraft at the same time, and it provides notification of simulated kills in the air. P-5 is also designed for maximum portability. It includes two major components, the airborne pods and ground stations. The transportable ground stations provide the exercise control, live monitoring, and comprehensive debriefs. Here, ICADS allows training officers to observe the training exercise in real time, control simulated threats, and review the missions. 
The computer generated imagery based on the data, plan view, uh, the cockpit views are all tremendously useful to us, both as controlling tools during the event and then as debriefing tools as well. The airborne component of P5, the instrumentation pod, records all the training events, performs the weapon simulations, and processes in flight events. The pods are typically mounted on the aircraft weapon station, or they can be packaged as an internal subsystem. The pod houses the GPS and data link electronics, computer processors, power supplies, and the data recording device, or DRD. Prior to flight, the DRD is loaded with pre-mission and aircraft data via a personal computer or laptop. It is then inserted into the pod. The DRD includes a compact flash card and records up to three hours of in-flight data. When the pods are airborne, they communicate with each other using a sophisticated data link system. The data links continuously provide the time, space, position information, or TISPI, of each aircraft during the exercise. The weapon kills are also transmitted by the data link. These advanced pods incorporate a data link with a range of 80 nautical miles air-to-air -air and 125 nautical miles air-to-ground. The built-in relay feature of the data link extends the range to over 200 miles. In addition to transmitting the positioning data, the pods perform the weapon simulations and communicate the results to the pilots using a voice synthesizer. When the pilot releases a simulated weapon, the aircraft's weapons bus sends a signal to the pod. The pod's electronics immediately simulate the weapon's release and flyout. If the result of the weapon simulation is positive, a kill, the data link sends a real-time kill notification to the target aircraft. When a pod on the target aircraft receives this kill message, it initiates a synthesized voice to tell the pilot that he has been killed. Red, one, dead. The pod also informs the shooter that he has scored a hit. Blue, eight, kill. The entire simulation is performed in the shooter's pod during the mission. The system's advanced security features protect classified weapons data. The training officers at the ground stations can review all of these events in real time with the aid of the Remote Range Unit, or RRU. This device sends the TISPI data relayed through the aircraft data link network to the live monitoring computer. At the conclusion of the mission, the data recording device is removed from the pod and uploaded into a processing computer. The DRD data is synchronized with the pilot's HUD tape as well as the live monitoring recordings. This allows accurate tracking and positioning of events at all times during the post-mission debriefs. During debriefs, the fighter pilots learn if they fired the right weapon at the right time with the right tactics. The P-5, I've used it on every air-to-air -air ride I've flown in the F-16, uh, both at Luke and then at Shaw Air Force Base. Without the ICAD system, I would probably spend as an IP three and a half hours drawing up with chalk on the board exactly um, what this system can show me in two or three seconds. Combat pilots take their training very seriously because their lives depend on the lessons learned. With P-5, U.S. and Allied forces can fight as coordinated teams, fulfill their missions, and return home safely. P-5 CTS-TCTS, the most advanced and widely deployed air combat training system ever built. It's affordable, reliable, and available now.